Happy August 8th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy departed the Windless Peaks, the realm of the Phoenix Guardian, and set out to return to Crownspire. We have three elements of life. I think Ivy's missing one, but there was no convincing her. We took the scenic route along the coast. We found some amber and a health potion in a shipwreck. No sign of survivors, I suppose. We are headed toward the town of Longwatch, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Longwatch. The mushroom city of Longwatch is bustling in the evening as the sun sets and the bioluminescent buildings begin to glow softly. I do not see any hidden icons on this page, but that's a pretty busy page, and <laughs> I would not be surprised. Oh, uh, there might be one. Yeah, there is one. There's a uh, there's a backpack. Let's see. Um, front of the book. Here we go. We're gonna roll a d10. And see what we find lying on the road here. Three. Combat tonic. That's not a good... Well, maybe that is a good sign. It's so peaceful here, people just leave their combat tonics laying around. Because <laughs> who needs them? Uh, combat tonic. We don't have any of those. That adds a d4 to an attack roll. Okay, excellent. Um, where did I put the page? Here it is. What are we going to do? Explore the city. The nightcap. You have the option to spend 10 amber to take a rest. Um, we have 39 amber. Uh, we're only down 3 health. We have plenty of healing abilities and a health, couple of health potions. I think we'll... I think we'll forego the rest. Um, silo, sail, bin. bin. See, I think so. <laughs> uh, isn't that a is that a type of mushroom? Silo, silo, si, bin. This is a play on words. Silo, sail, bin. This is a store. Set within a circular clearing of luminescent mushrooms, the silo, sail, bin features shelves lined with an array of combat enhancing potions. Each container resembles a vibrant miniature mushroom. So you can buy a combat tonic. Um, warding ointment or dragon's fire. I don't think we need look at that. we're okay there. We're pretty combat is our strong suit. Let's see what oh, we can buy all kinds of stuff here in Long Watch. What's next? The Shroom Shack. Nestled within a colossal toadstool, the shroom shack beckons with the aroma of freshly cooked mushroom dishes. Uh, we can buy meal rations for one amber. We have four rations. We just used half our rations on this one walk, so I might we might be back here. Let's see what else we can buy. Um, fungs, fungsaras, fung. I think it's trying to be fungus, but fungarus, fungsarus. Situated between a towering mushroom canopy, fungsarus boasts shelves adorned with intricately designed bottles. The very counter itself resembles a massive hollowed out mushroom stem. <laughs> okay, uh, this, these are all our consumables. Brawnberry, nimble cap, stout seed, foresight flower, sage leaf, and glamour stones. Um... These all add to our traits, I believe. Let's double check. Because we have enough cash that I might stock up on some things we're weak on. Brawnberry does strength. We're okay with Brawnberry. We have an intellect and we have a wisdom. Uh, dexterity. Charisma. And constitution. I'm looking at my list of consumables. Um, yeah, I might buy, what are they, five amber each. 
Okay, let's come back. We might be back here. Lastly, the general spore. <laughs> Instead of the general store. Uh, housed within a sprawling fungi structure, the general spore emits a soothing, earthy scent, inviting customers to explore its shelves of potion vials nested in fungal alcoves. And here we can buy uh, health potions, cleansing crystals, uh, phoenix tears, and antidotes. Um, okay, what do we have in our possession? Those are... The good stuff is 10 amber each. So we have, do we really have, a, I think a, yeah, we do, we do have one cleansing crystal. We don't have an antidote consumed. The, the poison so far hasn't been terrible. There's a chance that you lose one health at the end of every page that, that barely registers on IVs radar at this point so but i'm tempted to have one just to have one phoenix tears consumed unused removes a single wound inflicted inflicted from death we have yet to uh have to worry about that too but we have plenty of cash what if we buy if we buy one each of those that would leave us with um can i do math in my head this early in the morning that would leave us with 19 amber and then if we bought one of each of these um, trait boosters, we'd be down to four, and we could we could replace the meal rations we just ate. So maybe we're going on a spending spree. Do we want to go down to zero cash? Um, we're in long watch. We they might there might be an option to hire somebody or a pet or something. But you know what? Let's do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna just let's uh, okay. So what did I say? We're buying uh, an antidote and Phoenix tears. That takes us down to 19. We'll buy a nimble cap, a stout seed, and a glamour stone. That takes us down to four, and we'll bump our meal rations up another four to eight and now we are totally broke <laughs> uh, probably not a wise move but you know here we here you are um anything else okay that my friends is august 8th so we shall say goodbye for now and visit ivy and friends again tomorrow i hope you will join us Thanks for watching.